sort of a campfire convergence of America's climbing community. I never worried much about our men when they were in the mountains. They were climbers, that's what they did. It was a time we were all in school and we all had families. Gaylord Campbell was a very, very fine climber. There were going to be more of us going on the North Face trip initially. The group had somewhat of a falling out. I heard this tremendous noise. To my horror, the end of the rope came back severed. The North Face is a major alpine face. It's maybe 2,500 vertical feet. We knew that the bone was broken in at least two places. We wrapped the leg with ice axes. We couldn't get up, we couldn't get down. I was flashing my flashlight using an SOS signal, hoping desperately that somebody in the valley below would see that. So I flashed the truck lights, SOS, back. I could see a lot of lightning, so I was very afraid that we would die of exposure. Pete laid out the plan. Rick and Pete will go on reconnaissance. Pete and I took off about 11 o'clock, got up and went around the North Face. Then we saw them. They're on the second ledge. It's the guy that's injured, not the woman. Ted and Mike will come up second to the lower saddle. I was freaked out by the possibility of serious rockfall. We would have to go get him and move him to a site where he could be picked up by helicopter. These guys were breaking psychological barriers. We didn't want to wind up dangling in the middle of an overhang without any rope left. It was clear that he was second guessing us. We spent three days risking our lives for him I, of course, don't think that he was particularly justified in criticizing how he was rescued. Once we got below the first ledge, we were in terra incognito with that. Litter. No one had ever been there, no one had ever climbed there, and no one had ever been down it. So the question was, could we get down it? And once we left the west end of the first ledge, we were irrevocably committed to going down. There was no going back up. Suddenly, I was on the most complex rescue I could imagine. I don't think I'd ever try this again with six other people.